Right now I'm actually getting ready to go and film a video about Mario Lopez of all people. I'm actually trying to prepare this video a few weeks in advance actually, which I usually don't plan my videos so far in advance, but I am going to LA for my first time soon. And honestly, I'm really scared. From an outside perspective, it doesn't feel that like welcoming, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of powerful and scary people there. And I'm, a, I'm an East Coaster in my heart. But speaking of coasters, I have to bring up these coasters right here because I can't stop looking at them. Someone made them for me and like, I just think they're the prettiest green color. And I just really love that they have my name too, which I'm like, I, that probably sounds so bad, but um, it's just so sweet. And you know what's made for me because it's got my name on it. So I love when you guys send me stuff like that. Something I hate about myself is that I just can't, like, I can't keep a clean bathroom. Like, there's some scissors here, some scissors here. I always have everything everywhere, and I swear it's like, I watched this TikTok, and they were talking about how, like, ADHD people need to have everything put away as soon as they're done with it. So if I'm done with something, I need to go and put it away. I can't wait and just put it down. But all I do is put it down over and over again. It honestly adds more stress to my life because I'm like constantly picking up after my last move. I honestly did not have curly hair my whole life. It kind of just happened because I over bleached my hair and it all fell out. <laughs> and I was actually on YouTube when I had that over bleached hair. And it was not pretty. Not pretty at all. Oh no, okay. Every time I get like a, a new text message, I'm like, what is happening? Because I have a few different people I text. Um, people always ask me like, oh, you cover so much about the East family, like how do you do it? And it's like, People want it, trust me. People are over here hitting me up for it. But actually, I have a video right now I need to send through YouTube because they always have to review. Oh! Ouch. So, I just got injured by the desk. Um, yeah, that was not easy. So, I actually made a video recently about Kesha. I posted that last week not even knowing that there'd be major updates to her situation. I just talked about some unsealed court documents that show um, Kesha, you know, was telling people around her, her entire team, about the crap that she was going through with this disgusting man. And um, I'm glad that things are coming to light because I really feel like almost like the Free Britney movement has like reignited so many other movements and even like the Free Kesha movement could be a thing because she is trapped in a horrible record with like, label deal with this guy who supposedly R worded her, you know, allegedly R worded her. Of course, I believe Kesha, but like legally out here, I'm honestly scared of these people. So sometimes, like like I said earlier, the Mario Lopez video is gonna be like planning in advance, but sometimes I'm like oh, turn around real quick and definitely trying to get this Kesha one out there, but. <laughs> I think it was on. Okay. Who do you like best? Nicole Schlushing Burger, Bailey Cypress, Britney Spine, Ariana Venti, Lady Gay Gay, Doja Cart, Megan the Scallion, Cardi F, and of course the old man Madonna. <laughs> Even though you guys may not smell my breath, I definitely 
always brush my teeth before I speak to you because I want to make sure that I'm fresh and clean and ready for camera. Get into it, we need this light on. We need this light on. Mario Lopez may have been able to charm himself through Hollywood, but he's not gonna be able to cover up his dark past.